Hey guys, so we are getting a great response with these uh, healthy dishes. Some of you were saying, well, just eating vegetarian isn't always healthy. I mean, cake is vegetarian, it's not healthy. We get that. But what I'm doing is, for those of you who don't know, uh, I've stopped eating red meat and pork for a four month period. I started back in October and I'm ending the end of this month. And when I started, I took my blood work. So I had like high cholesterol. So we're doing an experiment. In February, I'll report to you what my cholesterol level is. Does red meat affect your cholesterol? Does pork affect your cholesterol? All that. In the meantime, I also decided to kind of be health conscious in the month of January. So like next January, we'll do the same thing and bring in some vegetarian dishes that I thought sounded great and were healthy. This is a tomato and basil bake. It's very simple. I've never tried this. It was so simple, it made it interesting. So come on in close, I'll show you. Okay, so the one thing that irritates me is when they use uh, measurements that I don't have. So like they'll say, grab an eight inch uh, baking pan. I'm like a ba eight inch baking pan. So I'm looking all over something that's my, you know, oven safe. And so I grab this one and I measure it and it's nine inches. And I'm like, are you serious? Then I go, oh, the round one. So I grab the round one and that's nine inches. So I'm doing a nine inch version of this eight inch recipe because I don't have an eight inch. So I'm just adding a little extra on the ingredients and we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's get in with the ingredients. Got the cherry tomatoes, fresh basil, extra virgin olive oil, garlic butter, and panko bread crumbs. Okay, before we get started, I just wanna tell you this recipe is gonna require a broiling flame. If you don't know what a broiler is, it's a flame that's on the top on the upper side of your oven. And it's usually just like a single flame uh, it's for browning, or you might have a, if you're with electrical, it may have a browning wire. If you don't, then cook, uh, do this at 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, okay? Put that off the side until we do our mixture. I have taken all my cherry tomatoes and I've halved them, okay? Every one of them, and I did a little extra once again because I'm doing a bigger pan. Recipe's down below, by the way. I have prepared my ingredients my garlic and my basil. Right now, we're just gonna add the garlic in, the minced garlic. We'll do the basil later. And we're gonna drizzle our olive oil in there. There we go. Give that a good mix up, toss that around. We're gonna broil this about, about 12 minutes. Get all your tomatoes in there, make sure nothing sticks. Sometimes the garlic's gonna wanna stick to the walls, every little bit's gonna help. About 12 minutes or until you know, the tomatoes look really tender. We'll bring this back in 12 minutes. Okay, you're gonna want your butter melted, so go zap that in the microwave, bring it back here. All right, tomatoes are almost done. So we're gonna put our breadcrumbs in the bowl, make our little crumbly topping, take our butter, and if you feel there's more butter than breadcrumbs, which it should come out fine according to the recipe, once again, I'm kind of beefing it up a little bit. Find out there's more butter or more breadcrumbs or whatever, just add a little bit or whatever you need. You want it to feel kind of sandy, but you want it all coated with the butter too. Kind of like wet sand. Leave your broiler on. See how they look like they almost started browning? They kind of shriveled up and stuff. Really cool, huh? All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle around. I'm gonna place this back under the broiler. About 30 more seconds. Just to kind of brown the top of it, okay? Beautiful. Look at that. Bring the cutting board over. Sprinkle a little bit of fresh cut basil, and there it is. Very easy to make, tomato and basil bake. So as this was cooking, I'm thinking it smells great, it looks good, I bet it tastes great, but what exactly would I use this on? Would I use it as a topping? Would I take uh, like a section of this and put it on top of fish? Uh, would I top sec little bits of it on crackers? I I'm not sure. So you tell me, how would you do this? I'd also probably add in another vegetable or two, but this is how the recipe was. I found this, it looks simple and delicious. 
It's a good starting point. You don't like basil, use parsley. You don't like parsley, you want to add a little bit of kick, use cilantro. So let's give this a taste. Yeah, it's almost like an appetizer. It really is. Ooh, it's steamy hot. Oh, definitely smells good though. I like this as a topping, honestly. I would top fish with this. But, uh, you know, some of you vegetarians, you tell me. I don't know what you would top with this, but it smells delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. The olive oil and the garlic. It's like a warm tomato salad. And then the breadcrumbs give it a little bit of a crunch. It's almost like the oven brought out the sweetness in these grape tomatoes. All right, I'm going to snack on this. I'm going to get ready for the next episode. I'll show you guys that next week. You have a good one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.